Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bumisetti. Today we'll see one of the interesting topic that is I want to print monthly top down, say from January to December. Okay, so by using SQL query. Okay, so in Snowflake, in Snowflake I want to print from January to December using SQL query. Okay, if you want to understand this requirement, you should have better understanding of the following concept like so DL that is select statement, to care function, current date, data trunk. CT common table expression and generator. Another one is the data. Okay, so by using common table expression and generator. So these are two options we are trying to see. Okay, so we log into Snow site and we can able to work out things. First, we should get today date. How can you get today's date? We'll go for select current date. Okay, so it will give like a okay, case give the current date. Okay. Next step is that what I want to get year starting date. How to get the year starting date? Galax go for so date trunk function. Okay, see, I'll write right. Okay, so see here writing so data, but I'm putting month. Current date. What it will give? It will give so see first year of the current month. Okay, see now I want to get first year of the current year. We'll go for year. We should put year so that it will give. First day of the current year. So it's January 1st, 2023. Now what happened? Okay, now so we should extract month. How to extract the month? We'll go for take the same thing, go for to care function. So to underscore care. Okay, so go. Okay. Next one we should put MM. It will you so full day, full month here. Okay, so this is fine. Now go back here. Same thing. Now what we want to extract now, we want to extract. This is the current. Okay, so January 1st. Next, we should get January. Next, we should get what? February. How to get February? We'll go for add months concept. Add underscore months. Bracket open, bracket close. Now we should add one. Okay, see? It's February. Okay. So same thing. Go back here. Now we'll try convert into like this two underscore care. And we need to get only month. Okay, February. So take the same thing. Now try to add two. We'll go for okay. See March. Okay. Now we can have now this is one little set. So this we should go for set of that is UNL. Okay. Copy the same thing. Okay, now try to execute. Now what happened? You get January, February, March. But it's not possible to write every each and thing. Okay, only we need to get so see we need to add one, two, three, like this. If you're not able to follow, take the same thing. So put here now what happened we should put three same thing okay put four i'll get like this okay now see same thing same equal one you see january February, march okay now only this one two three four five six okay how to get one two three four five six we'll go for with class with class okay see select id one now i'm putting with class with cts bracket open bracket close select star from ct okay now what happened it clear you one now we need to get one two three four how do you get we'll go for the cursive ct union all select id plus one from ct where id less than 12 now see what happened so we'll get one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so see what happened we should get okay see one two three four five six now take the same thing instead of one two three instead of writing like this i can able to go for recursive ct okay go back here copy the same thing and put here okay see now see what happened now i'm putting one what happened it'll you february february now instead of one what happened i'll take id okay one two three four five six okay so take the same instead of one go for id Okay, now what happened? We should get February. How to get February? Okay, we need to get Jan. Okay, Jan. Okay, see January. How to get? So we should use ID minus one. Okay, see. January, February, March. Okay, so one more time. So go back here. First, understand what first we should go for select the current date. It will give what it will give two days date. Okay, now from this one, what we need to extract first day of the current year. How to get first day of the current year? Go for date trunk function. Okay. Put okay, so date trunk function. So this is syntax. Okay, so 
we should put year here okay Okay, to you first day of the current year. If I put month, it will be first day of the current month. Okay. Now, next step is that what? Okay, now I need to get okay, so January. Next, I need to get February. How can I get? We'll go for add months. Okay, now go for see add months. Months. Okay, see add months. Bracket open. Okay, see now what happened to you? Okay, if I put two, it will you. Next month. Okay, now what I can go for to care function. T underscore care. Okay, so go for okay. It will give what will give so March will give instead of one, two, three, four, five, six. What I can go for with the classic is see with the PTS select from ID. Like start from CD. Now what happened? Same thing. Now we need to go for union or select ID plus one from CT. Recursive CT. Okay, where ID less than two. Okay. So if you know this concept, then you can apply. Same thing. Now copy this value and put here. That's it. So see, we should put here okay. ID comma same thing. Now see, we are getting this value. Okay, instead of two, we should put ID. So that what we'll get one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now what happened? We want to get so we need to get from January. How to get January? We should use ID minus one. So will you okay? See January, February. I'll put some column alias. Okay, month list. Month list. Okay, see clear as so far. So for this purpose, we should know how to get the current date, how to extract first day of the year, how to do add months concept. To care functionality, okay. So with class and recursive city, okay. So like almost like almost like four or five concepts are being covered. Okay, that's right. So you should know if you know this all the concepts, it's really easy to understand this concept. Okay. So this is one more. And one more approach is that what? One more approach. Okay, we're having by using generator concept. Okay, so in Snowflake is there. Okay, generator. Okay. So this is clear. So one 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 method is by using recursive city and one more method by using generator concept. Okay, see. So same thing. Go back here. Select star from so star from what we are having so table bracket open bracket close now what happened having generator on method see generator so generator bracket open so see generator will get row count row count so by you see if I put five what happened see Okay, so we should put something. Like, suppose I'm putting something like yes. Now what happened? Okay, this S will be printed five times. Suppose what what do we want? We want to get two well. Okay, so we are we are having two well months, so that's why we are putting so see S will be printed two well months. Okay, now this is fair. Now what happened? Now we need to get one, two, three, four, five, six. How to get one, two, three, four, five, six? We are having one column that is SCQ. So SCQ four. We can able to get one, two, three. See, we're getting zero, one, two, three, four, five. Same take copy the same thing. That's it. Okay. Instead of using okay, uh, one, two, three, four by C recursive city, copy the same thing and put here. That's it. Okay. okay so this is one of the functioning snowflake. Okay, see request in a sequence, take the value instead of ID, put the same thing. That's it. Okay, now rating. January, February, March to December. Okay, one more time. So I'll try to explain clearly. So we are having one function that is our function. So select star from table bracket open bracket close generator. Okay. So it's a generator value. It will generate. Okay. Next is the row count. Row count. Suppose I want to print five times. Okay. Suppose I want to print Pravin five times. We can go for Pravin. It will be five times. It will print. Next step is that what? Okay, now I want to print one, two, three, four, five. Use sequence four. We can able to get so zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. Now how many times you know we need to get two elements? Okay, see. Okay, see zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, less than two. Okay, see so getting the points. Huh? Now what happened? Okay, take the same thing. Copy this value. Copy the whatever things. Now you see this is recursive city. So take the same value instead of ID. We should put sequence. That's it.
there are so many options are there. These are two options I'm trying to explain. So, okay, so instead of ID, put SAQ code. Okay, see, remove this plugin. So remove this sequence. Okay, now try to execute. So January, February, March, April, like this, you can able it. Okay, so one is by using which concept? One more time by using a recursive CT. Okay, so date, date trunk function, current date, add months, two care function. Another one is what by using. So this is snowflake. Okay, table generator row count. Okay, same thing instead of ID, we're putting this sequence. That's it. Okay, so clear and so far. Okay, so okay, so remove this same thing. We can able to get this value. Clear so far. Like this, we can able to get this. Okay. So January to December by using SQL in Snowflake. Okay. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.